aim in this video is to try and change your reading flow. But first, a test to find your reading speed. Words per minute in five, four, three, two, one, go. In just three minutes, I'm now going to show you how you can read even faster. By cutting out unnecessary information, you can read up to 1,000 books per year. If you struggle with reading fast, you are not a lazy reader. You've just been taught and programmed to read and value books in a certain way. I really want to challenge this. Everybody wants to read more and you're going to acquire more knowledge, which we all want. You're going to need to change your reading mindset and I'm going to ask you to do it in three ways. Firstly, understand not all books are the same or should be read the same. To read 1,000 books, you're not going to be reading every word or imagining every scene and gasping at the brilliance of the words and how they're constructed on the page. For sure, there's an important artistic place for the greats, for Shakespeare, for novelists. Novels are not for skimming as you'll just miss the sources, the intricacies, the beauties that are on the page. However, you need to separate from fiction, non-fiction and the big idea books where the task is ultimately to acquire knowledge and information in a quick and effective way. But even then, there are different different sorts of knowledge book. Heidegger's being in time just can't be skim read, I assure you. It's too conceptually convoluted. So you need to choose readable books, target them. And if you want to aim for a thousand books of knowledge in a year, you need to aim for theories and ideas which are at the appropriate level. Secondly, dismantle that image in your mind of books as being sacred objects. And that reading them somehow has certain rules that you apply and you must obey. That we must read every word from cover to cover and that's when the book is finished. We've been programmed since childhood to believe this, that the Naughty. book gods will strike us down if we just miss one mere word. Oh, that reading is an event that we've got to savour. You're done in a reading room with a reading robot, playing Boccherini's string minuet and having your afternoon cocktail by your side to sip. And I'm telling you, even as I record this video now, I'm in fear that the book police is going to burst through my doors and just shout out false claims and that I'm just reading the wrong way and I shouldn't be preaching this. It just feels such hallowed turf how we treat our books. Well, you need to give a finger to the book police from now on. Thirdly, reduce your understanding about what you have to read. Books are long form and there's a social, political and economic reasoning for why the book has taken the form it does. Not least amongst these is a money making enterprise and it's part of the publishing industry. Well, you've got to have the guts to challenge this and you've got to challenge what's been served up to you and translate what you need and the message mm. of the book that you want to take mm -hmm. away on your terms. Most of these books take a single idea, often someone else's idea and just propagate it over 200 pages wasting our time. So your task is to reduce it back down to a singular idea that you can take away into these sizable nuggets. So I want you to become a sifter, a comer, someone who goes through books and deciphers what they need, what the essential message is and targets knowledge extraction.